Dr. Binani, my last question to you again, uh, slightly combining multiple questions because we are running short of time. One is about foreign portfolio investors. Um, I mean, presently, do you see that the scheme permit foreign portfolio investors to come in and rescue companies if our Indian investors are unable to rescue them? Secondly, you had mentioned about the need to set up a fund uh, to facilitate the process. Do you have any other suggestion to make the IBC more effective going forward? It's already a fantastic legislation that has really helped. So what can we do more to add more teeth to the tiger? Thank you so much. Uh, in the words of Dr. Sahu, it is IBC is always work in progress. So definitely best can also become better. And of course, you know, there will be n number of suggestions at any given point in time, which is only enabling the stakeholders to practice better in this law. One immediate suggestion, which I may put uh, because Dr. Sahu and Justice Singh is here, is that Dr. Sahu, uh, the time that we have laid in the regulations that the COC can take n number of days to give their uh, might by way of votes. That, has, that is eating up a long number of days from the process because uh, the COC takes almost about, in some cases, where I'm dealing as legal counsel, I've seen that they are taking almost about 10 to 12 days time just to you know, exercise their voting rights. I think we, we, we probably have to go back to the era where we were in the beginning of the regulation, where we had given them 48 hours to exercise their voting rights. I think that was working better than uh, this open-ended timeline that we have put before in the regulations right now. A fund is definitely a suggestion. Thirdly, uh, I must say, when you're talking about group insolvency, in some of the NCLT jurisdictions, I have also observed that uh, people uh, you know, from the forefront, the, in mostly all the group companies, the lenders are one and the same. So now they are putting up applications, which is quite innovative in nature, as Akant has been very innovative in his interpretations. So they have also started mentioning that can we have a consolidation of those applications, so which means uh, those applications would be maybe admitted on the same day, would be tagged along with each other and heard together. You know, so every every process uh, is there before the eyes and the vision of the court on a single platform. So therefore, uh, that is one of the innovation probably which also Dr. Sahu has mentioned about this consolidation application that we have seen. Uh, and um, you talked about uh, foreign portfolio investors. I, I don't think there is any bar. We, can still, uh, we are still finding uh, investments from across the country uh, coming in, flowing in. Of course, uh, there are the FEMA regulations which regulate it, which industry can come automatically and which industry cannot. But there is no bar. And um, uh, stressed assets in itself, there are takers. You know, this pandemic may have been a small spot. But um, there are two issues which I have probably seen. One, if the company or corporate debtor is a little asset heavy, a little asset, see, steel companies with finding resolutions because it's very asset heavy. There are tangible assets which a person can see and they're picking it up. And of course, there are cyclical benefits that a person gets out of it. But apart from that, if the other cases, we are seeing if there are assets which is you know, visible, we are finding takers. It's only a case where we find only intangible assets like brands. If the brands are well developed, then also we are finding papers. You know, it actually depends. Uh, like one, no, none of my case has gone into liquidation as yet. Not a single case. It, it depends a lot on the zeal and on on the you know the might that the RT is using to reach out to people as to uh, is this a saleable case or not. And if at all it is not. What Dr. Sahu said is you must let it go. There is nothing uh, wrong if the company is going into liquidation because liquidation in itself is a resolution. If you see the BLRC report, it says that liquidation is also a form of a resolution because they're freeing those assets to be put to best use in the economy. So I, I, uh, it, it's, um, I think, you know, uh, in, in all the newspapers, sometimes if I find that this, these many cases has gone into liquidation, I don't think that should be a parameter to measure the success of IBC. The success of IBC has to be measured that all those cases that has gone into liquidation should also be resolved quickly so that those assets get into the economy for best. 
Thank you, Dr. Binani. Yes, I think there's no doubt from our discussion today that the IBC is a success both in terms of time and in terms of resolution and in terms of, if you look at the other laws, uh, everything put together has really helped us, like Dr. Zahu said, uh, resolve almost 95% of the cases in a positive manner.